Life merely begins at 50. 100% I agree. It's true for him and him and him and basically everybody who's not a woman. All our Prince Charming, the knights in shining armor from Bollywood are getting older by the day, while the leading ladies to romance are getting younger. While I'm 24 now, according to Bollywood standards, my good years are almost already gone. And though personally I don't have a problem, Bollywood, I hate to break it to you, but that's extremely sexist. Recently, we saw Akshay Kumar, who's 53, romancing Nupur Sanon, who's 23 years old, while Salman Bhai, who's 55, is romancing Disha Patani, who's 27. Bollywood's problem with age sexism has been spoken about extensively but the problem remains and I'm not here to say that there cannot be an age gap between couples we are a progressive society hopefully the problem however is that we cannot imagine this going the other way around representation in cinema is actually a good thing love is love and acceptance should be promoted here's the problem while we don't blink an eye when we see a Salman Bhai with a 21 year old Sai Manjrekar and we don't have a problem when we see an Akshay Kumar with a Manushi Chiller who's also 21 why is it that we never see examples the other way around. Now close your eyes. Imagine Madhuri Dixit, who's 52 years old, romancing and Ishan Khattar, who's 24 years old. Freaked out? Why is it that we'll never imagine a Juhi Chawla romancing a tiger shroff on screen? The age gap between these two people is actually lesser than much of the couples that you see on screen. The only problem is, this time the woman is older. Bollywood has constantly sidelined women for their age while continuing to promote men who are of the same age as them. Oftentimes, women like Nina Gupta and Soni Rasdan have come forward to speak about how they don't get enough work because they belong to a certain age bracket. The roles of extremely old women or those of mothers are the only ones that these women get approached for. And if we take that away from them as well, how is the industry fair? Speaking of mothers, Bollywood has done some extremely weird things when it comes to casting them. Remember Akshay Kumar's mother Shefali Shah in the film Wat? She was actually five years younger to him. Or remember the fact that Amitabh Bachchan romanced Rakhi in the 70s and then later she had to play his mother? How are men getting to keep their roles while women are constantly shifted and replaced? And while representation matters and we're all for representation of all kinds on screen, including couples who have a significant age gap, this cannot be yet another thing that is used to box women. By showing us that only older men deserve lead characters and that older women on the other hand can only play mothers or some sidey characters, we're further building upon the patriarchal concepts in the entertainment industry and further strengthening them in the minds of the people. What's more, it's only when men and women in the industry have equal and fair opportunities that we can actually discuss other problems like wage gaps. And while it is true that Bollywood is trying to move towards a more progressive representation in its entertainment, it is also true that we must constantly point out these forgotten problems if we ever truly want to see change.